Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use some of the really cool video effects that are available in ScreenFlow 3. So let's start with the basics. I have some clips in my timeline already, and if you have a look at this one, Marty is typing a subheading. Now I don't want this writing to just appear, but this clip is much too slow. So if I just right click on it and select Show Clip Inspector, I can easily adjust the speed. Dragging this bar will slow down or speed up the clip, and as you can see, it changes automatically as you drag it. So let's talk about video actions. Video actions give you the most flexibility with a clip, and they're very easy to use. Just select a clip and place the playhead roughly where you want the video action. Then under Video Properties, select Add Video Action. Now make sure your playhead is on the right hand side of your video action before you make any changes. Then you can change the position, the size, the angle, or even the color of the video. So for this clip, I want to move it out of the way so that you can see the typing. Change the scale, I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to put it up in the top corner. Now if you place the playhead before the video action, you can see that the video action creates a smooth transition to whatever you changed. Video actions can also be added to text boxes, freeze frames, or images. So I'm going to show you an example. Using Sketch, I'm going to grab an image off the internet, and drag it into the timeline. I'm going to put this image where the video was before it moved. Now I'm going to add a video action in the same way, and I'm going to change the saturation, the contrast, and I'm going to rotate it, and move it out of the way so the previous image can be shown. So that's all for today. For more information on ScreenFlow 3, check out the links below.